Uh, your next comedian. Yeah, all right. Are you guys ready for your next comedian? He's great. Our right, headliner. He's dressed so nice. Uh, he's also recording something for a podcast for a good show, so you guys got to, like, fucking lose your shit during his whole set because he's absolutely hilarious. Put your hands together for Mr. Scott Duff. Keep it going for Connor and, and the lady in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, man. Yep, sorry. Sorry, fam. There, more gay stuff is going to be coming your way. This is a super gay show. Like, what the fuck? Are there any homo gays here? Thank I, you. Did, I, okay, cool. Great. I love the proof. Like, here. Look. I inked myself. I love it. Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Thank you. I, too, am a homo gay. The third one of the evening. <laughs> give you some new insights, but I am a professional gay. Uh, I do big gay stand-up. I got a big gay radio show out in Chicago, airing Sundays from 11 to 1 on WCPT, where facts matter. Uh, I don't have a gag reflex. I'm really good at gang, all right there? <laughs> don't know why I locked eyes with you, sir, and I'm sorry about that. It's fine. You're just there. It's cool. I know you All right, cool. <laughs> Sorry, I was as I was leaving the house, my boyfriend's like, you look kind of like a headmaster today. And I'm like, I'm like, but like the coolest headmaster? He's like, no, no, not at all. I'm like, okay, great, cool, 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 cool. Dumble Daddy or Daddy Door. <laughs> sorry. sorry, I'm in a really weird mood. <laughs> sorry, you know, gay people are silly. Gay boys are silly. You yes, gay. Yes. I mean, you want to change the world, uh, give a lesbian a clipboard and a megaphone. Shit gets done, all right? But gay boys, we're, we're silly, and I can like distill it down to uh, just one word. Yas. <laughs> yas. Yas. We're like a couple of feral alley cats, you know? Yas. Yas. This is how my boyfriend and I find each other when we're separated in a grocery store. <laughs> yes! 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 Baby, I'm over here by the kimchi. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Cool. <laughs> uh, I recently uh, spent some time in Iowa. <laughs> Jealous. <laughs> Hanging out with my friends. Family jealous. <laughs> yeah, my family's weird. <laughs> uh, by a round of applause, and who's got a weird family here? I'm. I wow. Okay, you're just this part. Your crew just got very like. No, we're totally normal. <laughs> and I get that. My family is its very own particular rich tapestry of odd. Uh, we have my mom, who is a delight, but she uh, she's she's uh, she's living with uh, 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 dementia. Mm, bummer. Uh, and then you have my brother, who is a raging Trump supporter. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ah, ah. I mean, that makes for some really, really awkward conversations. You know, it's like on the one hand, you have someone whose uh, mind is slowly deteriorating. Um, they're easily distracted by loud sounds, shiny objects, and it is impossible to have a normal conversation with them. And then there's my mom, who's just lovely. Just, that is a good joke, lady. That is a very good joke, okay? I make light of dementia, and I let you know what a fucking bubba my brother is, okay? He's an asshole. He drives me crazy. He's horrible. He's like a mechanic for the Vegas bus system. His choice of attire is either cowboy or frustrated middle school PE teacher. You know, like the polyester shorts with like a golf shirt tucked in, no belt, belly out like this. Just kind of like standing there waiting for the bus. He spits his dip into an empty two liter bottle of Mountain Dew. Yeah, Gro Mountain Dew, gross. Yeah, and then he just leaves it around the house for you to find. You know, clearly we are like this. He's the thumb, all right? <laughs> 
which I assume he's got shoved right up his ass. <laughs> and then, like, to round out this trilogy of siblings, you have my sister, who is an Episcopal priest. <laughs> It's like we are the setup for a really bad joke. You know, it's like a priest, a gay guy, and a Trump supporter walk into a bar. <laughs> the priest turns to the gay guy and says, let's get blackout drunk so we don't have to talk to this asshole anymore. <laughs> and that is exactly what we did. That is exactly what we did. <sighs> Great. Okay. All right, thank you for letting me get that out. <laughs> oh, ah. and the holidays are coming. Can't wait to hang out with them. <laughs> Yay. Uh, look, I'm not here to talk about my family. I'm here to talk to you about uh, gay panic, okay, which is a real thing. Uh, gay panic is. Uh, and in my experience, there are three different kinds of gay panic. One, as a gay man, I experience on a daily basis. It's when I meet a straight man and I know a handshake is about to ensue. <coughs> What are the rules? You know, like, is it just going to be a regular, like, hey, there we go, put her there? It's a good old handshake. It's going to be one of those things where there's a lot of like hand gestures. It looks like a song should go along with it. Or is it going to be one of those things where they kind of pull you in and give you that one arm slappy kind of a hug, where it's like, I can't be attracted to you because I'm hurting you at the same time right now. Like, what's it going to be? Like, straight dudes, can we just all agree on air kisses like civilized people? So much easier. So much easier. Second kind of gay panic is seasonal. Uh, it happens right before uh, gay, like about a month before the uh, gay pride, before the pride parade. Uh, by a round of applause, who, uh, who's ever been to a uh, pride parade here in Chicago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, okay, good. That was good. There was like, all right, I've been. <laughs> It's kind of amazing, right? I mean, over a million people turn out. You know, everybody day drinks. The gays wander around shirtless, and the lesbians break up. It is so much fun. <laughs> You're laughing because you know it's true. It's weird. It happens at 6 o'clock every year, right on the nosy. It's odd. Yes, thank you. Okay. I'm the, I've seen it too. It happens six o'clock. Everybody's like at the Backlot Bash up in Andersonville, having a great time, listening to the jangly dyke rock music, which is the best music ever. And then six o'clock, bong, 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 bong. <laughs> It turns into the purge, okay? Like, if you're a lady who loves ladies, get off the street because shit's going to get real. It's like, ooh, it's crazy. Sorry about that. We're silly people. Uh, but like I said, uh, before the prime, I mentioned that that because I have that radio show, um, I uh, uh, I have to be in the parade, and that's in front of a million people, and nine months of a Chicago winter filled with emotional eating and binge drinking does not leave this ready for the pride parade. <laughs> Because we are not only a silly people, we are a superficial people. And if you are not totally cut with a ding-dong down to your knees, it is to the back of the parade for you, buddy. So I get panicked about this. Oh, quick little side note. Did you know that there are still people out there who are like, um, not a lot, but there's some. He was like, uh, why, why is there no straight pride? <laughs> Where's my parade? <laughs> it's like you already have one. It's called St. Patrick's Day, okay? <laughs> so take your green beer and your date rape and sit the fuck down, all right? It's our turn for fabulousness. So this year I decided to do something about it. Like, I'm going to get in shape. I'm going to do it. So I was like, you know, I this year I divorced vodka and cheese. <laughs> For two days, lady. That's right, up up top, yeah. There we are. Yeah, let me feel that. Because cheese is delicious and vodka is, say it with me, gay for water. It is water to the gays. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but I'm like, oh, you know, I, I belong to a gym. I should do something with that. 
You know, I'm not the most athletic person on the planet. Shocker. You know, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, like, you know what? I should take one of these classes. Uh, so I might not be athletic, but I can dance. So I take this class called work <laughs> with an E and a Q. Work. <laughs> it's basically jumping up and down to Nicki Minaj for an hour. It's fabulous. I love it. I love it. It's like it's step touching with the housewives. It's me and the same gals every week and it's amazing i love it so much you know over here there's janet she's there every week she god love her she's always just like a half a beat behind going going left when we're going right just like she is a part of a rhythmless nation over here you know but she's doing it and then mary oh my god mary Mary is 70 years old if she is a day, and she shows up with her wig on and a crop top, and she's just doing her own thing over in the corner, like, yeah! Like, Mary don't give a fuck. She's just, she's moving, she ain't doing a single step, and I love her very much. But my personal fave is Bernadette. Bernadette loses herself in the mirror. <laughs> And she is having her very own Ariana Grande realness experience. You know, pow, 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 uh, 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 yeah, uh. <laughs> And by Bernadette, I mean me. That's my name. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I have so much fun! <laughs> it is so much fun. Aww, yeah. Uh, my <laughs> My favorite, uh, straight guys, uh, because like my favorite is like when an errant straight man just kind of like like pops his head and like what's going on in here, and they take the class. Um, sh- straight dudes, question for you: Why can't you move your hips? <laughs> I mean, why is this really challenging? This is hard for it's like <laughs> like I don't watch a lot of straight porn, but in my mind, it's just like 15 minutes of this going on, you know, like like a drinking happy bird kind of situation. This is weird. So to couple along with the work class with an E and a Q, I also decided to do the, uh, the keto diet. Has anybody heard of this torture? You are nodding your head like, uh, okay, it's horrible. If you haven't uh, heard of it, basically it's like the Atkins diet on steroids. So it's a lot of fat a little bit of protein and very few carbs, like 20 grams of carbs a day. To put that in context, that is a slice of bread. So a sample recipe for breakfast is um, take two tablespoons of butter and eat it. (laughs) That's it, it's horrible. Uh, Yeah, yeah, and according to science and magic, uh, your body will slowly eat itself based on your consumption of meat, cheese, and mayonnaise. It's all like, literally, my pancreas and my gallbladder fell out of my asshole, <laughs> looked up at me, <laughs> like, oh, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> no, no, we're out of here. And they left. They walked out the door. <laughs> so, but it worked. I lost, um, I lost seven pounds in six days. Woo. That can't be healthy. <laughs> That's horrible, you know? So I talked to my doctor. Okay, well, I talked to my therapist, and my therapist was like, he's married to a doctor. He's like, well, we're doing it, too. I'm like, oh, great, 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 cool. Then I'll just be the one over here sweating meat. So, yay. Uh, And as soon as I got off that pride parade, I ate a whole thing of tater tots. It was really good. Um, Oh. Be gone, tater tot hater. Be gone. They are delicious. Tater tots in the Grand Canyon are proof that God is real. Um... (laughs) So, okay, sorry. I'm getting off track. So, gay panic, yeah, gay panic. Uh, gay panic, straight dudes, air kissing from now on, right? Okay, good, good. Uh, gay panic, the, the stupid, the gay panic, the feeling of, like, body shame that gay men feel uh, around pride, and you do stupid things to do that. Um, and the third kind of gay panic, um, 
uh, was a viable excuse for murdering a gay person. Yes, yes. Yeah, meaning that um, if you as a straight man, if you thought that I was hitting on you, you're like, oh, I'm panic, and then bam, I have to kill you. You know, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, and it was legal in the state of Illinois until January. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> And that is why we have a parade. <laughs> Yay! Y'all have been great. Thanks so much. I'm Scott Duff. Give me that for Connor. <laughs> Scott Duff, everybody. Keep it going for him. Hell yes. Oh, my gosh. You guys were an amazing audience. Give it up for yourselves. You guys were so much freaking fun.